today I'm going to a Wings and Wheels event. This is at Western Zoyland, former RAF base, now known as Middle Zoy locally. Let's go have a look what's come here. It's their first event. Let's have a look. Second World War aircraft, um, the Navy, Royal Navy operated, it's American by Bell, uh, but we operated in the UK. I think we had about 800 of them, uh, and they would have been used to ferry either people or personnel or bits and pieces around uh, between airfields during the Second World War. Uh, it would have been painted in the day, exactly as we see here, in yellow, such that you could tell the Allied fighters and obviously foreign fighters that it wasn't actually a, a war aircraft as of such. It was uh, up to uh, support, and it would have just been sitting there operating between the two. Uh, it's operated at the moment by Navy Wings, uh, which is obviously trying to once again highlight um, the Royal Navy and the roles of the uh, Fleet Air Arm through obviously 1909 when it all started for us all the way through to the modern day now where we are with F-35 and uh, this is one of the things that would have been highlighted during the way uh, on the way for it. Thank you very much. It raised me near Leicester. It served in the army in the late 40s, 50s, at, um, Germany, 657 Squadron and 651 Squadron. It finished its life in 1965 at, at Middle Wallop, which is then the Army Air Corps. I've had the aircraft since 2012 and we love doing shows like this in its original condition as it would have been in its service days. It's a great fun, fairly easy to fly, and it's a lovely airplane to take to events like this. Uh, what would it have been used for in service? It would have been used for liaison and spotting. So basically the army would fire the guns. This would go over and see what the guns would direct to the guns. So if the guns were a bit short, it would get on the radio back and say it's 10 degrees too short, just adjust the gun firing pattern really. So it's quite a dangerous job, flying about 200 feet above the battlefield. Quite dangerous, but it was worked. So Thank you very much. Bye. 
simpler life. I must say it's been a cracking event for a first event. I can only see in the years to come it's probably going to get bigger and bigger and better. So that's all from me. If you enjoyed this video, just like, subscribe. Goodbye for now.